hey what's going on good people in this video i'm going to be discussing a trending topic that i got from my man mark Hughes. make sure you guys go over and check him out and give him a follow but he sent me this trending topic regarding nas dating a 21 year old dominican plus size model i don't know why they are calling her a plus size model she don't really look like a plus size model but who you know maybe she is but apparently her and nas are down were spotted in the dominican republic together so it's been something that's really been trending and i definitely want to put my two cent on it and we're definitely going to get into it and break it down but before we do make sure you guys hit that subscribe button like the video and definitely leave a comment down below and the comment that i really want you guys to leave down below is tell me your top five rappers of all time my top five rappers go as this nas biggie tupac andre 3000 jay-z and my top 10 can kind of go all into the other rappers like Lil wayne ice cube um scarface you know it can go on and on but we're just gonna do the top five down below guys so and on a side note i do think if biggie was still alive if he had more music and more catalog for us to judge between him and nas i do think biggie would come out the number one rapper of all time but due to the fact that his life was cut short he don't have a lot of music out so we can't really debate that but anyways let's get back on topic i see everybody's making a big deal about this young particular young lady that nas is dating a very nice looking young lady now i know a lot of guys are gonna be like but she's like over here in the u.s she's been americanized which is true i really don't think this is a big deal that everyone is making it out to be because a guy like Nas he's always kind of been private with his dating life especially after his divorce from Khalees which was she was a very like feminist type so yes I I do buck that I absolutely do people are really beginning to blow this up online as if you know like they are invested in this man's new relationship you can see on her page where people are leaving comments like hey we don't play about Nas you make sure that you guys stay low key they giving her relationship tips on how to deal with a international superstar rapper but in the end I noticed that people just like to see the fact that he's with somebody I think a lot of people have grown with Nas over the years especially a lot of women who couldn't get him they you know ain't even mad at him you know they just to the point where they want to see the guy married and happy <laughs> I didn't know Nas, like I didn't uh -huh. know Nas, you know, and when the song came out, I didn't even know he was dating Khalees, you know, what uh. I, mean? when I wrote that song, so I wrote it two years before it came out, it came out in 2004, mm -hmm. so I didn't even know then, it's just, I had a you crush had a on crazy him. crush on him. I had a him. crazy crush on him, like really, and I had actually worked with him as a stylist. But I remember on one of his lyrics where he talked about the fact that he met this girl from Grenada, or, and she read him his rights, telling him he need to be married. And I this girl said in Grenada we should go get married. Broke the meaning down of the Virgin Mary. I think he pretty much just laughed at her, but look at 50 Cent. He said it straight up. I think 50 said um, he like it fresh off the boat or something. And, you know, the women kind of went in on him with that. But it was true. Men have always loved these foreign women. Say what you want to say about 50 Cent, but he has incredible taste in women. Here he is with Cuban Link, a.k.a. Jamira. Looking like freshly printed money. They both look good. We all saw this man date plenty of black women, black models. He made songs praising black women, praising his black daughter. But for some reason, at 49 years old, this man is most likely never going to date a black woman again. Now, he'll sleep with one. We all know how that goes. You you know, you'll mess with one. I mean, I got to give it to him. He's never been one to kiss and tell. You know what I mean? Or put, put the business out there. But you know, he's slept with a lot of our favorite R&B artists and favorite female rappers. Because they all respect him for what he do. He's a music legend. And that's what these women will do. They will run and date every last musical legend they can get with to see which one they can get to stay around the longest. So I think this man is just like a lot of the passport men out there who has got to a point where once you have experienced better, you're not going to go back to that. Why would you go back to something difficult and a, a woman that's hard to get along with? So it is not a secret why this man is choosing to be with a foreign woman 
And I'm glad to see Nas doing this because he has a lot of fans his age, which means a lot of women that's, you know, in their 40s and 50s now. A lot of women are looking at him the same way women are looking at Leonardo for the fact that he's dating younger women. And I truly think Leonardo at this point, he's doing it out of spite. He see these women hating on him. He was like, oh, y'all mad about me dating the 25 year old women. And that's my cutoff period. But well, I'm going to go get a 19-year-old. I think he's just really just doing it just to make women pull their freaking hair out of their head. I think he loved the fact that women are hating on him. And I think he's just doing it just out of spite. Just for the old haters to be talking. Today we had another example of Leonardo DiCaprio's incredibly scientific way of dating. The science all has to do with the age of his girlfriends. From 1999 to 2004, Leo and Giselle dated. He broke up with her when she was 23. From 2005 to 2010, Leo dated Bar Raffaele. He broke up with her when she turned 25. After that, he dated the likes of Blake Lively, who he broke up with when she was 23. This girl, Tony Garn, I've never heard of her, but he broke up with her after two years together when she was 21. He enjoyed his relationship with Kelly Rohrbach, but he had to break up with her after a year together because she was about to turn 26. He then dated Nina Agdahl from 2016 to 2017, but he couldn't see any future after she turned 25. After four years together, Leo called it off today with Camilla. In June, she turned 25 years old. At Dollars and Data on Twitter has made a graph about this, and it confirms the data that I just laid out to you. Leo does not date women over the age of 25. But this is what men do. Men have the option of dating younger women. It is true to say that men age better than women. We look better as we get older, when a lot of women, their looks and features go down. So that's not the case for a guy like Nas and Leonardo. And a lot of men are dating foreign women. This is something that's kind of been going on for years, but it's kind of been, been low key. Um, a lot of people have noticed, but it's been something that no one really talked about. But now it's something that they are talking about. To see people blowing this up online, going to her social media and noticing that she's wearing wedding dresses or trying them on. I don't think Nas is going to be the one that, that's going to marry her. Uh, he really don't strike me as a man who will get married again at this point. I think he's gained a lot of wealth at this point and have learned a lot of life lessons from being married the first time. And just the fact of his lifestyle, I don't think he's going to be the one to get married again. I think that Nas, with his portfolio that he has and that he has built, I don't think he's going to risk getting in a situation where he, he can get married again and get into a situation where a woman can come after his money. But that's all I got in this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Like the video and definitely drop a comment on what you think about this whole Nas situation and, and him being a passport bro at this point. Thanks for watching to the end. I will see you in the next video.